Hi, I'm Prague Reg Chantawongso and I'm at the Dimgo. <laughs> this is a hard word for me to say. Mm. The Dimbo Gamua <laughs> Purana Temple in Kegli province of uh, Sri Lanka. Um, I'm going to show you a quick tour around the temple um, as I'm going to put out an appeal to anybody who would like to make some donations. This is a very poor temple uh, located in a very, very poor village and the monks and the Samanera here are trying to make some improvements to the temple which we'll show you shortly. So I hope you enjoy this video and thank you. Yeah. At the moment I'm standing on the top level of the temple area. Have a, a small shrine here underneath the branches and the leaves of the bogey tree and if we just pan out this way a bit looking down here we have a small accommodation area uh, underneath we have a, a school for, uh, for the preschool children in the village uh, there's an eating area, um, in fact pretty much an all-purpose area and then down below in the valley you can see the rice fields. At the moment they're waiting desperately for the rains to arrive. They have rice in the, in the ground but the rains have stopped and if it doesn't rain soon then they're going to lose this crop. There's the two young Samaneras here at the temple. Say hello! <laughs> hello again. <laughs> and this is another view down to the lower levels of the temple. Underneath this rock formation we have the main Vihara where there is a Buddha house. This is Bhante Panyaloka. <laughs> ah, he is doing some nice painting work here. Yeah, <laughs> and behind me, giving some commentary, <laughs> is Bhante Vachisara, one of the other monks here at the temple. This is just some background. The land behind the temple. Beautiful, beautiful forest area. Very peaceful temple. Down to the next level and show you the work that the monks are trying to do here. So, this is the Vihara that we have, statue of. With Buddha, and just like to come in, you can see that it's been built underneath the rock formation. And we have some paintings up on the ceiling, and we have some paintings around here up on the walls. Very nice and cool in here. Very beautiful little Vihara. So this is a construction that the monks here 
that the temple are currently uh, trying to work on. It's going to be a, a two-storied building on the lower floor. It's anticipated they will have a meditation area or have a dana room or uh, a place where uh, people will bring offerings, food offerings, and the monks and the novices will have a, a decent place to sit and to eat. And then the upper level, they are hoping to build some accommodation again for the monks and for the novices. Now, this is where the monks need some assistance. As I said, this is a very poor village. And it's not being helped by the fact that the crops aren't doing particularly well at the moment. Uh, and so the monks are asking for any assistance that any of you people can possibly uh, give so that they can continue with this project so that they can propagate the Dhamma continue to, to teach the Dhamma here at the temple a nice place for the devotees to meet they can come and they can practice meditation as well as studying the Dhamma you can see everything here is fairly basic uh, just moving across here This is the this is the shower block here at the temple. Fairly basic. One shower. Don't even have a door. <laughs> so as you can see there's a desperate need for any donations that you possibly feel that you would like to make so that the Dharma can continue to be spread both here in Sri Lanka and of course worldwide this is the stairway that leads up from the temple gates into the temple proper and uh, as you can see they too are in urgent need of some repairs They're, uh, a bit dodgy in places a bit difficult to get up and down and I could imagine when it does rain, they could become really quite, quite slippery. Especially we have the ladies here, of course, all wearing beautiful saris. Not so easy to climb up and down stairs like this when it's wet. This piece of road I would actually consider it to be a very good piece of road if I was to walk up a little bit further a few hundred yards you would see that the road too deteriorates into just massive potholes so this is our Sunday school yeah and the children come in here and they have their Dhamma studies every Sunday morning. Children of varying ages learning different things. The life 
of Siddhartha Gautama through to his enlightenment, his teachings, and his parinibbana. The monks here truly are reaching out into their local community. Well, they could certainly do for some assistance. Yeah. These are our preschoolers. He's the, with their teacher. Young, young children come from down here in the local village. They come five days a week to do their schoolwork. <laughs> This is the building where the monks and the novices, the Samanera, currently well, basically eat, sleep. That's a big dog. It's actually quite a nice dog, really. Doesn't like to admit it, do you, Mito? <laughs> so, making a bit of a garden is nice. But imagine for four people. It's a little bit cramped, especially when you have a visiting monk. <laughs> it takes up extra room. So, as you can see, it's quite important that we try and get some new accommodation built for these guys. Okay. So now we're about to go into the Dana Salah or the dining room. As you can see, it's not very big. Again, you try to get or even two or three monks in here without the novices. It's a little bit cramped up. So again we can see that there's a need at this temple. So, as you can see, the monks here are trying to do their best to teach the Dharma, to, to spread the Dharma. But there's a desperate need. So if anybody feels that they would like to help with the propagation of the Buddha Dhamma, then please feel free to donate via my PayPal account 
um, which I will show at the end of this video. Thank you.